This is the second part of the previous post bag video. I wanted to split it up because it was already 20 minutes long and I thought any more than that would be too long. And also all the cool kids were making two part post bag videos and I wanted to fit in. Okay, next up is removal tools and it's our favorite new value of $2. Probably help if I got rid of that. So this is a little kit and it was actually Chris Cochrane, hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, who recommended this. It's a uh, I'm not 100% sure what they were for, but it was like a dollar, so I decided to buy it. I think what it's useful for is when you're desoldering a true hole, um, a true hole header or whatever, that, you know, when you get the solder to flow, but you just can't clear out the hole, you can use these. I'm not 100% sure, I'll need to look into it a little bit more, but I remember thinking that it was probably where to go. So uh, yeah, big thanks to Chris for making me spend money that I didn't have to. At least it comes in a nice box. Next up is sound card with a value of $1. Yeah, so it's just a cheap USB sound card. Again, for Raspberry Pi Zero projects, Raspberry Pi Zeros don't have um, a headphone port. So it's just, if you wanted to do something with sound, and I have a couple of projects coming up that do, um, one of these is a good solution for it, and it's like a dollar delivered, so pretty cheap one for two. Another one labeled connectors. Okay, so yeah, these are right angled connectors, 16 pin connectors. Um, yeah, I had an idea for a project and I decided to buy them. Um, let me just quickly show you what they are. So just to give a little tease of the project idea, this is the ribbon cable that comes with the LED matrix displays. And as you can see, it is the correct size for that. So what could that be used for I wonder? Yeah, we'll definitely look at this in an upcoming video. This one has no description but a value of one dollar. Okay, so some more solar kits. I actually don't remember ordering solar kits for quite some time, so these probably took a long time to get here. Um, yeah, I think, um, I can't even remember what they are, I'll, I'll display the details of them above. Uh, this one is, has a mic in it anyways, this one has some LEDs. I'm not sure what this one is. Hmm, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm sure they'll be fun at some stage. I bought them for my brother, but I don't think he's too bothered anymore, so... I don't know, maybe I'll do it someday when I'm bored. Next up, we got expansion board module. Value of two cent. It's Pretty, uh, pretty chunky, whatever it is. So it is a temperature sensor. I actually don't have any 9 volt batteries to test this out with, but yeah, so basically it's just a thermometer with a uh, probe at the end. I thought it would be useful to use with the solder oven. I'm not doing a big fancy display with a graph like a unexpected maker is, but maybe 
I'm just starting off with my journey so he also did this where he put a probe in the bottom of his oven or was it through the back I can't remember um, but yeah so thought it would be useful I have one on my um, multimeter but I also need my multimeter so yeah again this is pretty cheap so why not Okay, this one is the Spencer, 50 cent. Nice, some stickers. What am I going to do with them? I'll put that in the bin pile. Again, some more um, solder paste or flux dispensers. So these are a lot bigger than the and these ones. Um, the main reason I bought them though was for the different size heads. So again, I've never actually used solder flux in a dispenser like this or solder paste. So somebody recommended getting a lot of different heads, so I did. And so I'll find one that works okay for me and uh, use it. So hope to make use of this soon. Next up integrated circuits value of two dollars so it is four of something uh, what that four <laughs> is of I'm not sure let's take a closer look okay so it is a PAM8403 module which is an audio amplifier uh, just when I'm looking it up here, I see that you can get them with a little volume knob integrated with it. So maybe that would be a better option to go for. But uh, yeah, I had some ideas for projects and I thought it would be good to pick up a couple of these. So yeah, why not as I say. <laughs> Next up is another pretty big package, uh, pretty descriptive name, max7219.matrix module, value 150. Definitely paid more than that. Yep, so not a huge amount to say on this, just a standard max7219 module, we've seen a few times on the channel. Um, yep, why not? This one is a switch, value of 70 cent quite chunky for a switch. Definitely gonna need to grey that out a bit more. It's very chunky for a switch. I wasn't expecting this to be this big. Um, so yeah, it's a toggle switch. Wow, it has a big chunky feel to it. Um, yeah. Um, and also it has a little security lock on it. Well, that's interesting. I would have expected that to go down as far as the nut. That doesn't fit true. Well. Ah, uh, it does if you put it on the right way. That makes more sense. So yeah, as you can see, it's locked now, it can't be pushed into place. So you can flick it up here, and then you can engage it. It's kind of a bit hard to pull back at that stage. You, you know, it's hard to get grip behind it, but yeah should be pretty interesting. I It's rated for up to 20 amps by the looks of things. <laughs> My possible use case for this definitely won't need that, but uh, yeah, I said I'd give it a go and we'll see what it's like. It's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> Next up we got current and voltage me, I presume that's meter, and the value of one dollar and one no, $1.1. $1 .1. 
So yeah, it's just a little volt and amp meter display that I thought would be pretty useful. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how to hook it up. I'm guessing this is where the power comes from, just judging by how thick it is. Yeah, not not too sure. I'll have to look it up. Um, but the amp meter should be hooked up in series, so I would have thought that the thing would be the ticker wires would have three. But yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I just have an idea for a nice simple project uh, to build using this. So um, we might see that in a future video. Okay, this one is expansion board module, value of two cent. Um, I don't remember ordering ten of these. Um. I remember ordering one. Maybe it was a 10 pack. I have no idea what I'm going to do with 10 of these. So it's a water sensor. Um, I'm pretty sure you just may it, it detects if there's water being connected between these. Yeah, so I have absolutely no idea why I have so many of them. And what's funny as well, actually, I had a, like, I bought it for a project, but I only needed one. And when I was kind of cleaning out my office there earlier, I found one. But yeah, I guess now I have 10 more. Cool. And the final one we have is LED driver. I don't think that's what it is. Uh, Four dollars and forty cents. Don't really know how to even go about opening this. There's a gap here. There is such a weird smell off this packaging. Ugh. It smells like burnt tires or something. Maybe not that bad of a smell, but it's just weird. Aliexpress Peony China National Flower. It's, it's actually quite a nice quality card. It seems like a waste to be sending this to me. Um, okay, so we have... 5 volt, 8 amp power supply. So, for LED matrixes and the uh, like. Um, yeah, so I actually don't have a lab bench power supply. Um, I normally just buy like, power supplies that I need for this type of project. So, yeah, this should be good for kind of any NeoPixel project or the LED matrixes. Um, I was actually talking to, I think, uh, Michael again on Twitter about these cables that come with these. They're normally pretty useless, although this one has an earth, although the earth pin shouldn't be sleeved like that. Um, I normally just get rid of these because I have tons of them. They're standard like kettle cables. Um, I have tons of them from old PCs and stuff like that, so uh, yeah. I normally don't even bother pick the UK ones, but sure, but we have them, and um, yeah, so again, super handy to have these. I This isn't the same one I actually used before, but uh, I was just looking at the reviews and the one I got, and a few people weren't too impressed with it, so I uh, ended up going for this one instead because it had better reviews, although the other one hasn't given me any problems, but yeah.
and that's it it completes the longest post bag I'll ever do because I'm never gonna leave it that long again I'm also definitely gonna use post-it notes instead of black marker for the address if you haven't seen part one you can check it out here and here is a playlist with all my post bag videos as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.